Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Buckman. Many people around the country hit the road for a Memorial Day weekend getaway. But for one veteran's motorcycle road trip isn't just for fun. It's to honor those in our military who can no longer ride. Fox 47's Carla Byron talked to him today, offering a reminder about what this holiday is really about. For some, Memorial Day weekend is about barbecuing and lounging by the pool. But for others, it's about hitting the road for a good cause. At a rest stop along I-96, I met Kent Helland. <laughs> Helland calls Las Vegas home. Well, I've put about 4,000 miles on my bike since I left home. Two weeks ago, he and nine other veterans rode from there to California, where they took part in the annual Run for the Wall, a motorcycle ride to raise awareness for POW MIAs and support current and former military. I went on a central, what was called the central route, which took us basically across I-70 across the United States. We had over 450 motorcycles uh, in our group and uh, all together we had about 1600 riders riding three different routes. The riders traveled to Washington DC this weekend and Helen's final stop was at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. I uh, was able to visit several of my friends uh, who were buried at uh, Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, some of them were lost in Somalia. Helen joined the Army in 1975 and doing the run was always on his bucket list. I have a lot of friends who uh, were in Vietnam and uh, including my father, and uh, I just decided to do the ride to, to be a part of it. He wants to remind everyone Memorial Day is not a day of celebration. It's a day of remembering. Many of you may know, have never known somebody who served or uh, was killed in the uh, military, but uh, those of us that do, do remember them. A mission to honor all veterans, never forgetting his fallen friends. We're riding for those who cannot ride. Carla Byron, Fox 47 News. Helen's next stop is MSU's campus to take a pic with Sparty. He graduated from the university in 1984. Then he'll visit some family in Michigan before he goes back home to Vegas.